If you've been told your estrogen is too high and you're struggling to conceive, but nobody actually has told you the truth about the missing link, and that is your liver. Everyone jumps straight to your estrogen is too high or your progesterone is too low, but hormones don't magically appear out of thin air. They're processed, they're cleared, and they're metabolized through your liver. And if your liver is sluggish or inflamed, congested, or totally overburdened from stress, blood sugar spikes, seed oils, alcohol, medications, chronic inflammation, then all of this will become a problem and estrogen doesn't get cleared properly. It recirculates, it builds up and suddenly you're dealing with heavy periods, breast tenderness, PMS, spotting, short luteal phase, mood swings, headaches and infertility. And not because your ovaries are broken, but because your liver is drowning and is totally burdened with shit. And this is why in my fertility circle, we are doing liver work First, we need to unburden your liver because when you're doing all those fertility things but you completely forget liver health, you're ignoring the organ responsible for actually processing your hormones, that's not going to work. We need your liver to work and when your liver can't clear estrogen, your progesterone never stands a chance either because your whole hormonal system shifts into an imbalance. Hi, I'm Carmen, founder of the Fertility Circle, where I help women repair the systems behind ovulation and conception. And your liver is a gatekeeper of estrogen metabolism, but also thyroid conversion, blood sugar stability, inflammation, bile production, and nutrient absorption. All, all of which influence ovulation. So when your liver is underfunctioning, and when your liver is absolutely overburdened and too busy, then things don't work properly in the background anymore and usually affect your fertility. And the part you might not know is your liver feels everything. Your stress, sleep, food, emotions, even unresolved trauma. It's sitting in there. In Chinese medicine, the liver holds a lot because cortisol and inflammatory cytokines directly slow down liver detox pathways. And now just the tea won't fix it. We really need to support phase one and phase two detoxification pathways. And we're doing this by stabilizing blood sugar. We eat a lot of leafy greens, beetroot, cruci, ferrous vegetables, bitter foods. But we also work with a few supplements there, like NAC, for example. We lower seed oils and reduce inflammation. When your liver starts functioning properly again, estrogen can finally move out and progesterone can rise. And that makes your ovulation stronger and your luteal phase stabilize and your fertility returns.